day, better every day. Team pick out the draft ain't that deep. So yeah. if I ever uh, we can trade that pick, man, and, and pick and put some with it if we're gonna do that. We ain't gonna get nothing at the 14 pick. It's gonna give us no. Uh, I seen something today, Martel. You might know this dude, man. Uh, Achi. No. Oh, Chai. Who? Uh, is it Achi? He played for um. Uh, was it Kansas? I think maybe. Kansas. Yeah. He had breaks. Let me, let me look and see, man. Was he like a two or three guard? Yeah. Yeah, he nice. Yeah. He I feel like, like <clears throat> I feel like we need like a wing type player. That's, That's what I'm saying. I, I said we need a we need a, a wing player, a two or a three, a twinner, like somebody who can who can score. Cause uh yeah. uh Okoro and, 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 and Stevens, them cats, they ain't they group player. They they not they not gonna give you no no production at that position. Yeah, I feel like, yeah. Yeah, the dude played on Kansas. Yeah, he he uh he was like a two or three guard. He nice, he built like Westbrook type, like a a big guard. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean he, I mean him, I don't know. It was another dude from O State that came yeah. on late. Yeah, Mal yeah Malachi. Yeah. yeah, Malachi Lindell cool. Uh, the, the boy, the one in the draft, the boy from Duke. That's that six ten dude, light skinned dude. But don't we got? I mean, that, would, would that be too much redundancy if we got somebody like that six ten? I mean, just you gotta look who. I mean, we've been playing. He he'd be like a marketing, but we gotta. It depends if we keep him or not, or what we gonna do with him. Man, what if we? <clears throat> and I seen somebody pose it, so that's not my original thought, but. What if we took the 14th pick and like Sexton and tried to get a nigga like uh what's our boy from um Riley Utah? Bridge. Oh so, uh, uh Donovan Mitchell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't and need more than that. That's that's the so? problem with it. I said we need a we need a solid wing player or we can you know, something we can find for that fourteenth pick. But if you put Sexton and and that fourteenth pick together with some kind of package to get like a Bradley Bill. Or something like that. That'll be that'll 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 put us over that hump because Sexton and Garland on the court at the same time, bro. We're not gonna get that production like we need out of that, that two guard position because they both both dom ball dominated guards. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But we had Garland and Sexton was running. He was needed that rock. You know what I'm saying? He was a pit bull. Now you got Garland. He can play off the ball too, but he he's small. He'd be a small too, so he ain't gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Garden to Zach Levine's and them type cats. Yeah. Bradley Bill might be good if we could swing that. I mean, that would be probably a little, I think he might come in a little cheaper than Mitchell, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, but like you said, the drive ain't super deep, but I feel like if they're going to do something, it's got to be like a two, three or some kind of combo, you combo. know, wing type player though, you know? Yeah. But you think Dwight? All right, yeah, so it's a couple things here. So, like, the 14th overall pick, they got the um, Cavs projected to take Malachi Branham from Old State, the guard, the 3 and D guard. One of the great things about him is that 41% of his shots, um, 18 of them were assisted, so over half of his shots, so he can go get his own bucket. As we've seen from the play-in tournament last year and then other tournaments itself, like, when, when – came into the clutch for, for the Cavs, they didn't have anybody besides Garland that can go get their own shot. They need somebody within like the 6'5 to like 6'9 range that can get their own shot and guard and switch off. The problem was is that we had point guards and we had bigs, but we didn't have like in-between players and Seti was inconsistent. So I don't think Malachi Brennan is going to be there at 14. Um, Dyson, what's his name? Dyson Dalton? Mm-hmm. Um, dude from G League and Nike, I'm saying this. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know yeah. I'm saying this name wrong. I apologize. I'll put it in post. But him from G League, um, he's another guy within a six um, five to like six eight range. Can handle the yeah. rock. Can get his own shot. As far as like trade ideas, I don't see us getting like trading for Bill. Like we're gonna need more than the 14th pick to get Bill. One of the things is throwing out there is that like 
I can I believe that Sexton and Garland can work, but Sexton has to go to the bench. And if he goes to the bench, that will solve a lot of our issues itself. So like I can see Karis Levert being a casualty. Like they're trading off Karis Levert in the 14th pick, like to try to get a couple players. Like one of the own um, ones I seen was like the Kings we trade Karis Levert in the 14th overall pick to get Harrison Barnes. Now Harrison Barnes will fit perfectly. You know, like Harrison Barnes. I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that, no. I think it's like we we getting served through players like guys who. Yeah. I don't. We need we need a dude who gonna like you say Garland. We depend on him for a lot of scoring. When Garland goes to the bench, man. It's like everybody looks standing around looking who gonna get that bucket. We don't have that person who can go get that bucket. You know what I'm saying? Especially when our two bigs went down and Garland goes to the bench. It's kind of like. You better hope we get a fast break or something. Because as far as running the offense, we never had that player we can just go to. That's why I say even anybody coming out the draft, they still not going to be ready to play that position right away. We need somebody who's seasoned and right now. Like we trying to work out, we don't got time to be waiting on a rookie. You know what I'm saying? That they come in and help he fit the system right. That's why I say like got to put some kind of package together with the trade or with a with not a trade but with the draft pick, maybe a couple players. So yeah, it get, might be more cover. Put a, a Sexton and a, and a uh, Levert and a 14th pick. You, we might have to do something like that to get what we really need. You know, like you say, Dwight, we good at the bigs, and then we got the our point guard, but them in between positions, you put oh, them, oh. don't got no production. Player that's already in the league, who would that person be that y'all think we need? I'm looking at three people right here, just like reasonable that we can get. It's not like a superstar that can help out. Harrison Barnes, Gary Trent Jr. from um, the Raptors to help out. We, we just need three and D players, and then Cam Reddish, like from the Knicks. Like we just need I players like, that can fit into the system. I like him to watch. I like them niggas. Cam Reddish, night. I mean that all of them is cool, but them just them not really no upgrades from what we have. Though. I don't really see hey. that. Like they could just get them and sign them and, and they'll fit in, but I wouldn't trade none of our people to get them. Sound <clears throat> like nothing to you know excited about. No, like that Bradley Bill and that Don like we need one of them niggas to come in and <clears throat> do that shit. So that's the beauty of it. Like so while I was looking at it, like from that standpoint, but realistically, you see Boston made the finals, right? Now, is Boston a better team? With Kyrie or without Kyrie? Without Kyrie. But if you go get like a Tyreek Kyrie type player, it affects like the development where people getting off. Like Boston, we clear that Jason Tatum was the man. Like he got him there. Like we right. still be that type of player if Kyrie was still there. Yeah, but I don't I don't look at I mean maybe with Donovan Mitchell, but I don't see that with Bradley Bill though. I think he could come in and fit in okay. Like he don't seem like that type of dude. That's not, not a, go ahead. That's not a good comparison though, because I feel like Jason Tatum, that type of player that's gonna get buckets whoever on his team. Exactly. Yeah, he was still playing when Kyrie hey, was there. He wasn't he, not he one of them niggas that's gonna get his regardless. Like he 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 liked that. You, you, know? gotta look, you gotta look at the situation of like Garland is a ball he's ball dominant. He initiates the offense like Man, he's an energy machine. Like he's running back and forth, back and forth, like the whole time itself. And you got like a player that you're developing in Evan Mobley. So are you going to bring in somebody that's going to get more touches to stop Evan Mobley's development? Because ultimately, this team is going to stop and go with Evan Mobley. Like if he shows more potential, he just shoots a lot more. Like you see flashes of it. Like I see him do stuff at that size that not a lot of bigs can do at that size. Dribbling, ball, ball handling, passing. The shooting starts to reflect, he get a little bit more weight. Then it switches from Garland's team to Mobley's team. But if you bring somebody else in as alpha or bring somebody else in that's gonna take the bulk of the shots, like that's gonna kinda like stun his progression. So But but when you when you build a team, if you are if you a bona fide superstar, you're gonna carry that load regardless, whether you scoring points or whether you whether you just there for just, just the person you are. Like you gonna, you gonna have that respect for the, because the people know what you're capable of doing. For instance, Golden State, they got four cats who can give you 30 any given night. Are they all gonna get 30 every night? Nah, but they know they're capable of doing it. So whoever night it is, it's just that person's night. So if you add a Bradley Bill to that situation with Garland and you got Evan Mobley, you got three players who you know can give you 30 anytime. So 
that comfortability is there. You don't got to worry about where we're going to get these buckets from. You can take Garland out, put our backup point guard in, you know, okay, I'm going to get buckets from Bill, I'm going to get buckets from Mobley. And you can interchange that out anytime you want. That's why Golden State is so successful right now because they got so many people. And then talk Boston. With Boston, you got, when they move Marcus Smart to the point, that's what got their team going. So now that opened up more for Jalen Brown and Tatum, which are both those type of players we're all talking about right now. Who you want to go get you a bucket at that two guard position? We went to your text. I just see your text. <clears throat> I think I think Bill too. Man, he done. He been in the league long enough to know how this thing go. You know what I'm saying? And he and he probably at that point where he would work into the system to make it fit. If he thought they was going make a run, you know what I'm saying? He don't got to be that super, like, he not going to be like no Kyrie disruptive type person to the team, I don't think. But I do think we need one of them kind of dudes, though, to come in and like, and like, I don't think we need a Harrison Barnes. I, I don't think that's going to do a, it. That's like a, that's not even a step up from the Karis. That's like a Karis LeVert slash, you know what I'm saying? That's a, yeah, Barnes, he's a he's Barnes an older Karis LeVert. <laughs> you know he's just a role player who he's not gonna do nothing to benefit our team in the direction we're trying to go. 